Oh, okay, so um, I'm here just for three minutes, so good for me. Uh, Pavel will be here much, uh, much longer. Uh, Pavel Bednařík is my colleague from Wikimedia Czech Good Republic. Uh, he's uh, our main lecturer and as well manager uh, of the programs for partnerships. So if you uh, are doing glam in your countries, uh, talk, talk to him. And today, but today in this presentation, we will be focusing on our uh, media education uh, and school experience. And uh, this is why we are here. I'm just doing this sh uh, short introduction as well. My colleague uh, Lucia Schubert, uh, our educational manager, is uh, standing there by the table. And uh, uh, on this session, we will have another one or Saturday where we'll be more, let's say, about our experience. But, but today's session is practical. So be prepared mentally to uh, go into one of the lesson for a few minutes with us later. If you don't want to, you don't need to. I know this is overwhelming, <laughs> huge, uh, huge building, lots of people. We just share how overwhelmed we are. So uh, I'm very happy that you came to our session. And uh, uh, what I want to tell you, it's uh, what you can uh, what you can hear today in our 25 minutes. So something about uh, our programs, just a short introduction, and then uh, about media education, about our portal, and uh, about Wikiversity, what uh, it means to teach with Wiki in Czech Republic, and then, hooray, practical activity that we prepared for you, and, uh, and of course, the closure. So I just wanted, uh, my name is Klára Joklova, I'm a Wikimedia Czech Republic Executive Director, and as well, very proud member of the C Hub Steering Committee uh, and very proud um, supporter of uh, C Youth Group. And uh, uh, this is the programs that we do just for your small orientation. We run three types of program in Czech Republic. Uh, educational programs, programs for community, that means lots of contests and uh, meetings and uh, uh, micro grants and then programs for partnership which uh, contents of course our glam activities uh, our advocacy activities and our quite strong wikidata tech session if you are interested in this we have in one hour session about our long-term cooperation with our national library but now uh, our educational programs contests of free other program, Seniors Write Wikipedia, which is Czech uh, invention, and you can hear uh, the lightning talk from Lucy on Thursday. Then we run, of course, programs for schools. This is what we will talk about today. And open educational program, which means how we want to, or we try to uh, support and build the capacity of uh, our own uh, community members. So, uh, heading over to Pavel and enjoy. Thank you, Clara. Good morning, everyone. Uh, before uh, you will become students uh, for 10 minutes, I will show you a little bit more about uh, our media education activities in Czech Republic, the Czech experience, as it was mentioned in the, ti in the main title. Uh, my main claim is that uh, Wikimedia projects, uh, not only Wikipedia, are a great tool for media education. Do you agree with this? Who, who does agree? Please, raise your hands. Okay, I think we are on the same line here, that's great. Um, so, what we do, uh, what specific projects we do? Uh, we started uh, a portal uh, on media literacy uh, last year which is a hub uh, including information about different topics from media literacy, from media coverage, from um, media uh, type, media related uh, articles. And uh, as far as we, as we know that there are many articles missing uh, in media education, we are uh, enforcing uh, students and motivating students from high schools, but also from universities to write the articles because once they are uh, future librarians, once they are future teachers, 
uh, of media literacy, media education, then they should be able to write uh, proper uh, articles on these topics. Uh, we uh, established also a Wikiversity project because Wikiversity is uh, the great uh, tool for uh, for collecting all the teaching materials you can you can use. You you hardly can upload it on Wikipedia, but you can use Wikiversity as a place to upload it. It's it's at the very beginning because we need to persuade people to uh, share it on, with free license. So it's not that easy to uh, to tell the teachers. Come on, guys, let's just upload our, your teachers' books. Uh, but we are getting there slowly. Um, we also started uh, courses uh, at the universities in uh, Brno, Masaryk University, and Charles University in Prague. And uh, we are motivating students and, and teaching students uh, to write articles uh, uh, on uh, media uh, related uh, topics and also media related personalities because there's a lot of people who uh, are involved in media education, but they don't have articles on Czech Wikipedia. Uh, we are also doing trainings and workshops. Uh, the program, uh, as Clara mentioned, is called Students Write Wikipedia. Uh, and we also published a handbook, which is called Teach Wiki or Teach with Wiki. Uh, and I will present it right away. Uh, this is one of our courses uh, in schools where uh, high school students are writing, creating their uh, their own uh, articles. Uh, this was high school in a small town in eastern part of Czech Republic, but uh, these students, uh, as they were 16, 17 of age, uh, they were grouped into two or three so that they can uh, create proper articles. But one of the articles they created was also an article about their school because it was missing on Wikipedia. So uh, they were proud of making article and making photos of the school and also of the products uh, that their uh, comrades, they, their uh, colleague students uh, were producing and creating. Uh, what we do during our programs and during our trainings is that we ask uh, and raise questions. Sometimes the students uh, are raising these questions. But usually we start our conversation with them asking these questions. Is Wikipedia a medium? Is it medium at all? Uh, what type of medium is it? How can we compare it? Uh, how can we place it on the map of different types of media? Is it trust trustworthy and relevant? This is crucial questions because usually uh, students are biased from their parents, from teachers, from anyone else that Wikipedia is not trustworthy at all because anyone can edit it. This is specifically Czech uh, Wikipedia uh, possibility that you, anyone can edit without even being logged in. So uh, this is really crucial um, and uh, we are showing them that it doesn't mean that you, when you edit Wikipedia that uh, anyone can write anything in there. And the control system is very crucial and we explain how it works. Uh, also, we are uh, trying to uh, show them that the reliab reliability of the resource is based on references and the references are really crucial. And if they help and if they uh, learn how to add references and uh, they would do more than just a quick Google and add the first link they will find, that it's, it's something which will help them uh, to get more oriented during their university studies, for example. Uh, and also we are talking about trust. How can we trust Wikipedia? And why is it possible to trust Wikipedia as a, as a reliable resource? Obviously, uh, we are not uh, supporting them, encouraging them to uh, quote Wikipedia because it's not a regular resource, it's a secondary resource, right? But uh, we are explaining how it works, how primary resource work, how secondary resource work. Uh, we are also involved not only in uh, teaching the students, not only in the projects, but also in this specific project, which is called Media Olympics. It was started by uh, a student and research library in Ostrava, and uh, it already took for second second year this year. And uh, it was for the first time, it was a nationwide uh, program. So students from every region in Czech Republic joined this uh, Olympic Games, media Olympic Games, and uh, could win and succeed and, and win the trip to European Parliament because it was partnered with one of our uh, European Parliament members. Uh, 
what we talk uh, during our courses it's about the relevance of resources we uh, we provide in uh, wikipedia it's about the structure of articles how it could look like how it, how it should look like how a good article or the best article how how it should be organized uh, we are talking about creating encyclopedic text uh, and explaining how it works. Uh, this is this is the task you will have in a few minutes. Uh, we are talking about uh, uh, tracking the history, how everything on Wikipedia could be tracked, how it could be reverted, how it how it works. Uh, we are talking about importance of interlinks, creating the hub of knowledge which Wikipedia provides. And also we are talking about the organization of the information, which means categories and their networking and proper taxonomy on Wikipedia. Uh, here you can see some of the uh, uh, digital uh, mistakes uh, our students make. Uh, usually it's about copying or copy pasting the articles with you know, with all these details, editing and editing the source. Uh, and this is something which we are trying to learn them, uh, trying to teach them uh, how to uh, do it properly, uh, how to not get banned on Wikipedia once once they do uh, bad edits, uh, etc. And uh, most of them, I think, are really open to understand how Wikipedia works. Uh, they won't, probably most of them won't continue in editing, but they know, they understand how Wikipedia works, and they, uh, they can value uh, the Wikipedia resource. Uh, here's the uh, handbook we created. Uh, you can see the image of our colleague, uh, high school teacher Jaroslav Mašek, who is the author of this, uh, of this handbook. And it is called uh, Teach with Wiki, or Teach Wiki. Uh, it's a language, language game. Um, once you get the presentation link, you can download it. It's, on, uh, it's available on Wikimedia Commons under uh, Creative Commons license. And it contains five, uh, five uh, examples how you can work uh, uh, on Wikipedia or with Wikipedia uh, with your students. Uh, here you can see all the five, uh, all the five uh, uh, lessons you can, you, can, you can use. It's uh, specifically uh, organized uh, in a 45 minutes uh, uh, class uh, for, for students. And uh, we will be focusing on number four, creating an encyclopedic text. So, we have 12 minutes, so you can become students for uh, 10 minutes time. I would ask my colleagues if they can uh, share uh, our uh, worksheets for you. Uh, you probably won't need them because I will show you the type of text you will, you will try to recognize, but uh, maybe it's easier to read it on paper. Uh, so I will give you uh, a minute to get ready and get your worksheet. Uh, the main task is to recognize which text, you will see four examples, four texts, and uh, you would have to recognize which one is encyclopedic text and what type of text are the other three of them. Uh, as we come from Czech Republic, and probably you might know our former president, uh, Václav Havel, this uh, program is uh, aimed at uh, his uh, background, so uh, you can uh, get at least few information about Václav Havel. Uh, so, please, uh, if you have your uh, worksheet, uh, I will wait uh, once our new attendees will uh, take their seat. Uh, once you get your, your worksheet, uh, you will just uh, try to read the text try to recognize what type of text uh, they are, and also uh, try to write down uh, what type of text you recognize. And also, it wouldn't be that difficult for you, I suppose, but just uh, uh, check which text is encyclopedic text, which would be usable for uh, Wikipedia. So, uh, we might start, I will always give you like one minute just to read, you can read it on paper, it's the same uh, piece of text in here. And you will just, you just have to recognize uh, the type of st text you see, write it down, and then we will follow with another one. So I'll give you like one uh, or two minutes per each.
So this is the first example. We can go to another one. If you don't know exactly, you can guess what type of text is it. So I will move to third example. And finally, the last, last one, last example. So, as we have six minutes to go, I hope you had a chance to go through all the text, or at least uh, to uh, recognize what type of text you have you have seen, you have you have uh, met here. Uh, the easy question comes first: uh, which text is the encyclopedic text you can use for Wikipedia? The last one, fourth. Yes, that was easy. Uh, now let's let's just check. Uh, what type of text you uh, can recognize or you, you could recognize in here. So let's start from the very beginning. Would you just guess or could you just mention what type of text text you, 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 could, you could see here? Yeah, journalist text, yeah. Some journalist uh, reportage text about, uh, about Václav Havel during, uh, during revolution and de de uh, describing uh, his uh, background and his uh, priorities, his, his values. Uh, what about the second one? Like a novel. Novel. Yes, novel. Let's, let's say artistic uh, type of text. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, the third one? Propaganda. <laughs> well, uh, tough guess. <laughs> um, yes, speech like rhetoric, rhetoric text. It's actually original speech uh, of Václav Havel. First speech he made to uh, the nation once he became president in 1990. 
Yeah, and the last one, as you already mentioned, is uh, encyclopedic text. Could you uh, just describe uh, the differences between the text or the rules uh, you use when writing these types of texts? How, how are they different from the encyclopedic text? Or how the encyclopedic text is different from the others? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's objective, obviously, it just describes uh, the facts, the reality, on the contrary of the other texts, which uh, have their uh, artistic or journalistic value or rhetoric value, but uh, not being relied on facts. Yeah. Another example of differences of the text, what, what makes it different? It is not descriptive. It is not descriptive. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Emotional expressions using different type of words, wording. Yeah, exactly. Sorry? And it includes data. Yeah, you can see that it mentions, uh, it mentions the place uh, Václav Havel was famous for, including uh, the years when they were written. So um, it's, it's definitely different. You wouldn't use it in journalist text, probably. Yes, it's factual. So every every sentence has a new idea, new information bringing on, which which is different in journalist text or in the speech. Uh, our time is almost up. So thank you very much for joining this session. Uh, this was just an example. Uh, thank you. It was just a short example how our, our Teach with Wiki handbook works. So this was. The only the session one of the five you can use or or it could be used. Unfortunately, it's not translated into English yet. But uh, once you are interested, we can talk about this possibility in the in the future. Uh, so uh, this is how media education uh, could work and how it could be. This this is these are the answers which you have uh, already recognized. Uh, this is how media education and media literacy could be developed with Wikimedia projects or. Uh, specifically with uh, Wikipedia. Uh, there are many, many options you can, you can use. You can, uh, you can explain how uh, free licenses work uh, with students. You can, you can go deeper with them and discuss uh, what, uh, what uh, the intellectual property means, how it works. And there's plenty of other ideas you can discuss with them and follow, uh, follow the principles of media education with Wikimedia Project. So, it was just a brief digestion. Thank you very much for your attendance. If you have any questions, go ahead and you can ask them now. Thank you. So, are there any questions? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah we need the microphone because of the online transmission, I suppose. Hi, thank you for the presentation. My name is Ariane. I come from Kosovo. Um, I'm trying to find out what is the shortest time that you can do a Wikipedia writing assignment. Uh, sorry, once again? What is the shortest amount of time in class that you can do a Wikipedia writing assignment? Uh, I think we need several lessons to, to go deeper. So we usually, uh, you, have the, you have seen the image. Uh, I run the course on the high school and it took like four sessions or three sessions, like three times four hours, uh, so that they can deeper, they can do their homework, uh, not only writing during the class, and also there was a consultation of, of their articles. So I would say like 10, 12 hours uh, are uh, fair enough time to, to uh, go deep enough and to explain the principles and to explain uh, how it works and also uh, offering them enough time to do the research, to get the references and create the article. Our time is up. Thank you very much. Uh, enjoy Wikimania. Thank you.